Share and subscribe buttons a chaos spear. <laughs> Thanks. Toast is dinner. Nice. Where there's smoke, they pinch back. All right, hey there. What is up, Sonic Family Squad? It's a me, Sonic the Hedgehog here, and welcome back to another video. So today, mm. I just witnessed. Um, a little weird change. I mean, I just discovered something weird. So, so when my dad was trying to go to work, so basically he was trying to start the car by putting the foot on the brake, and he tried to start it. Oh, wow. So basically, in case you're wondering, how did the, um, so I was like, what the hell? How did it start? So, yeah, in case you're wondering, how, why did the startup sound sound like that? So basically, up, oh, ignore the copyright there. All right. So in case you're wondering, how did the how did the startup sound weird just like that? So we're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna pop the hood. All right, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood. All right, see the camera. All right, and we're gonna check. We're gonna check the problem here. All right, one, two, three. Let's sync. All right, we're synced now. So let's go on ahead. Let's go. Oh shit! Scared the hell out of me. Oh, all right. Yeah, as you see that the horn starts to sound low. So all we have to do is now pop the hood open. Oh, what the hell was that? All right, so all we have to do is look for the switch that's right there. All right, and we're gonna pop the hood. Ugh, hang on. Hang on a second, squad. Hang on, just one second. Ugh, hang on. Ugh, hang on. This is even working. Hang on. All right, I got it. I got it. Got it, squad. I got it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna figure out what the problem is. All right, so as you see here, I have the car hood open, and you see here, yeah, basically I did it myself. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out why the car is starting to starting to not start anymore. So you see, be sure to always check your battery, but please just, please don't touch the car battery or else you get electric shock. So always make sure that um, if you're starting to, I mean, if the battery starts to get low, then please, if I were you squad, please make sure if, if you're, please make sure to take your car to a dealership, make sure to order a new battery for your car. And then after that, once you have that done, then make sure you have the hood closed, just like I have right here. I mean, I have to put this open, like, all, oh, so basically I have to do it like that. So that's how I have to open it. So basically, please, if I were you squad, don't touch any of the car parts in here. If the car is on, don't touch any of the car parts. Because it's just for your safety. Just for your safety and concerns. So after that, in, in case you're, if you have a, a Chevy Trax, like, like this car right here, I'm going to go over the basics. So over here you have your washer fluid and you have the car battery and the windshield wiper right there, the washer win the washer fluid to help clean the windows up there, your windshield. And this is kind of like the motor. And basically you gotta clean the I don't know what this is. Oh hold on. Hold on, what's this? Uh maybe that's just just, just for the oil. Yeah, it's just oil. So basically, there's got to be a part. Mm. Yeah, maybe it's just the car battery. Maybe maybe I got to tell my dad that to get a new car battery. Just for this car, you know. And make sure to always clean this part right here. Which basically, um, yeah, I got to clean that. So, so what do you think, squad? What do you think of the car parts? Comment down below if you have a, a car just like this. A Trax. Chevy Trax. So what do you think? What do you think of what do you think of this video? I need you, need you squad to comment down below. And after that, once you have replaced the car battery, 
What we're going to do now is we're going to go on ahead and here, hold on, let me sit your squad right here. Hang on. Let me sit your squad right here so that you can see that I'm actually closing it. All right, I don't know what the hell just happened because I must have turned my phone off by accident. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hold, hold the hood up and we're going to put the thing down right here. All right, put that in here in the little holder. Oh, yep, trying to ah. All right there. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna close it just like this. All right, and after that, once you have done that, and once you have checked to see if the car battery is good, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, yeah, 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 I know, shut up. So we're gonna check just to make sure it still works. Oh, avoiding copyright. So now we know that the button still works. The start and stop button still works. And after that, and after that, just power it off from there. And after that, when you're done, make sure you have to always have the, make sure you have the car key with you all times. Have it with you all times. Well, it's best to have it in the pocket. Just make sure it's in the pocket with you. Then after that, just close the doors like that, and then close it quick. Just make sure to close it quickly. All right, so what do you think, squad? Did the, did the problem help fix your car? I mean, was that the best solution for to help for the problem for your Chevy Trax car? I mean, if you guys have a car like this, then let me know in the comments. Because uh, this is just a tutorial of how you can fix your car problem. I know this. Uh, my pop told me that the car, the car did not want to start. So basically, I want to do a, a quick little video of how you guys can fix your... 2021 Chevy tracks and when you're done just make sure the doors are locked I should check all of them and make sure that all the pegs are down just like it just like in that position like down if it's inside then that's how you know the car is locked all right squad I'm gonna go ahead and end this tutorial here if you guys enjoyed it please drop that like button subscribe to the channel turn on the post notifications down below so you guys can go ahead and stay up to date for new videos every day and after that, I'm about to go ahead and go inside my house and do videos now. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Until for next time, we'll see each other on the next video. And as always, peace.